thousands of years ago, in a land of fertile valleys and mountains that sloped down to a sparkling sea, there lived a proud and happy people. These people were called Greeks, and their hilly, sunny land, Greece. Greece has many mountains, but there is one, higher than the rest, whose mysterious peak is hidden in the clouds. The Greeks call this mountain Olympus. The people of ancient Greece believed that Mount Olympus was the home of their gods. You see, at that time, the Greeks worshipped many gods. When something happened they did not understand, they would say it was the work of the gods. These Greek gods had marvelous names. Zeus, king of the gods. Apollo, god of light. Aphrodite, goddess of love and beauty. And Hermes, the winged messenger of the gods. Now Hermes had a son. His name was Pan. The Greeks thought Pan was something very special. To begin with, he was rather an odd-looking fellow. He loved to sing and dance, and he was always full of mischief. The Greeks loved to tell stories about Pan, especially the one about the time when... This is the story of the Greek god Pan, one half goat, the other half man. He had a curly beard and horns on his head. He really was a panic, the Greeks all said. Pan, Pan, Greek god Pan, one half goat, the other half man. Pan would caper through the woods and fields, dancing, singing, and kicking his heels. Protecting the shepherds who guarded the sheep, they prayed to him as they went to sleep. Pan, Pan, Greek god Pan, one half goat, the other half man. A nymph named Syrinx caught his eye. He wanted to play, but she said, not I. Then began a merry chase. She ran like a deer. Twas a very close race. I can't escape him. I can't hide. Someone save me, Syrinx cried. Her sisters came with all due speed. Their magic changed her to a water reed. Pan, Pan, Greek god Pan, one half goat, the other half man. Why did Searing scream and run? All I wanted was to have some fun. Well, Pan, my boy, as my father would say, Tomorrow is another day. Pan, Pan, Greek god Pan, one half goat, the other half man. But Pan never forgot the reed. Whenever he passed it, as he danced along the river bank, he'd stop and listen to the sound of the wind blowing through it. The more he heard this sound, the better he liked it. Then one day, as he sat listening to the music of the wind in the reed, he suddenly had an idea. Why should he have to keep coming back to the reed to listen to it? Why couldn't he take the reed with him wherever he went and make his own wind music? Why not, indeed? And that is just what he did. First, he cut down the reed. Then he tied pieces of it together and, imitating the wind, blew gently through the hollow reed stems. What a lovely sound, he said. Now Pan would always have the music of the wind in the reeds. No matter where he went, he would always carry his syrinx reeds, which were called from that time on the Pipes of Pan. And so... From these slender, singing, hollow reeds and pipes, which the Greeks called flutes, came the different kinds of reed instruments we use today. 
Some reed instruments are made of wood, some even of metal. But in almost all of them, you can still find the singing reed of Pan. Now, let's listen to some musical instruments that are descendants of the pipes of Pan. Boys and girls, the reed blowers. The flute. As I was playing my flute, a robin in a tree cocked his perky head my way and seemed to say, Keep practicing. My friend And maybe by and by You'll sound like a bird It's easy if you try The oboe. Back in ancient Egypt, a long, long time ago, where jingling camel caravans were passing to and fro, they loved to hear the oboe. The reedy, dreamy oboe. In the land of pyramids a long, long time ago. They played it for the pharaohs, its music made them smile. Cleopatra listened as it played Egyptian style. She loved to hear the oboe. The reedy, dreamy oboe. Back in ancient Egypt, along the river Nile. The clarinet. Hey, clarinet, what do you say? Join our Dixieland band today. Play some high notes. Play low down, we'll follow you all over town. Make us happy, make us shout, cause that's what Dixieland music is all about. Hey, clarinet, what do you say? Finger those keys and play. Cause that's what Dixieland music is all about Hey, clarinet, what do you say? Finger those keys and play The bassoon Bassoon, you're a joker Bassoon, you're a clown Your voice is hoarser than the rest. There must be a cold in your bassoon chest. Bassoon, you're a choker. Bassoon, you're a clown. Bassoon, you're a choker.
You have just seen and heard four reeds. Now let's see if you can remember the name of the reed that sounds like this. It's the oboe. Now let's hear another reed. Can you name it? It's the bassoon. Now let's see if you can name this reed. It's the flute. Do you remember the name of this reed? It's the clarinet. Won't you join the reed blowers? We'd love to have you. <laughs>